going to do exercise 3, 7. And this will cover learning objective number 2. So let's read and see what we have. Prompt Parcel Service operates a fleet of delivery trucks in a large metropolitan area. A careful study by the company's cost analyst has determined that if a truck is driven 120,000 kilometers during a year, the average operating cost is 11.6 cents per kilometer. If a truck is driven only 80,000 kilometers during the year, the average operating cost increases to 13.6 cents per kilometer required. Use the high-low method. Estimate the variable and fixed cost elements of the annual cost of truck operation. Okay, well, a high-low method. We know how to do this. We've seen this lots of times, right? We'll put our X and our Y here, our high observation and our low observation here. So now we need a high and a low X. Well, we're told what the X's are. We're told it's 120,000 kilometers and we're told it's 80,000 kilometers. So our high observation is 120,000 kilometers. Our low observation is 80,000 kilometers. We just need the Y variable that goes with it. Well, at X equal to 120,000, we are told that Y will equal 120,000 times 11.6 cents. And at X equal to 80,000, we're told that y will equal 80,000 times 0.136 cents. We're told that in question. So if you read the question again, it says if the truck is driven 120,000 kilometers during the year, the average operating cost is 11.6. So we just have to work our way backwards from this. 120,000 times 11.6 is 13,920. And if we multiply this out, we get 10,000. 880. So, with our x equal to 120, our y equals 13920, and down here we have 10880. The rest is just subtraction. Subtracting these two, we get 40,000. Subtracting these two, we get 3,040. And we know that we do this and we just make a division equals 0 0.076. That is is our B value <clears throat> and part one asked us to estimate the annual uh, using the high-low method estimate the variable and fixed cost element so there's our variable so we need our fixed cost element well y equals a plus b x we know that b is 0 .00, 0 0.076 we need a y and an x well we'll use these this is just as good as any other point we could have used this one up here by the way so our y is 10,880 equals a plus b 0 0.076 times our x value, which is 80,000. And if you solve for the math on this one, a will equal 4,800. So therefore, y equals 4,800 plus 0 0.076x. There's number one done. Number two, express the variable and fixed costs in the form y equals a plus bx. Well, we're done. Number three, if the truck was driven 100,000 kilometers, what total cost would you expect to be incurred? So we're asking to solve for y in this question here. So number three, x equals $100,000. If x equals, oh, sorry, 100,000 kilometers. If x equals 100,000, y will equal 4,800 plus 0 0.076 times the 100,000, which is 4,800 plus 7,600, which will give us 12,400. That's exercise 3.7. Exercise 3.8. This will cover learning objective number two. Let's see what we have. The number of blood tests performed and the related costs over the last nine months in Brentline Hospital are given below, and there we have it below from January through to September. Required, number one, using the high-low method, estimate the cost formula for blood tests. So we're being asked to provide y equals a plus b 
x using the high-low method. All right, there's our x, there's our y. Here's our high observation, here's our low observation. Let's go. Look down the list for the highest number of blood tests performed. We'll find that at 3,500. And the costs associated with 3,500 are 14,500. Now we find the lowest one, which is 1,500. The costs associated with that are 8,400. And we just do our subtraction. Look how easy this is becoming, right? We subtract this over here. We have 6,100. We know that the rest is just division. 6,100 divided by 2,000 gives us $3.05. There is our B value. Now we need an A value, but we need an X and a Y coordinate to do that. So here's our X. Here's our Y. So express this in the form of Y equals A plus B X Y. 8,400. Sorry, let's do that again. 8,400 equals A plus 3.05 times our X, which is 1,500. And that will give us an A equal to 3.825. Now you just do the math in there, you'll get 3.825. So our final fo uh, formula is Y equals 3.825 plus 3.05. X. There's part one of 3.8 done. Number two says, using the cost formula you derived above, what blood test costs would you expect to be incurred during a month in which 2,300 blood tests are performed? So number two, X equals 2,300 solve for Y. So Y equals 3825 plus 3.05 times the 2,300 blood tests. And 3825 plus 7,015 will give us $10,840 for the month. That's 3.8.